In this video, we're going to solve a system of equations by the substitution method. Um, we cannot use the elimination method in this example because we don't have a system of linear equations. Yeah, this x minus y equals 1 is linear, but this x squared plus y squared equal to 25 is a circle. All right, so we're going to solve this system of equations. We're basically trying to find where these two functions, excuse me, not functions, this isn't a function, where these two graphs intersect. Okay, where these two graphs intersect. So, step one, we just solve for one of the variables in here. I'm going to take this x minus y equals 1, and I'm going to solve for that variable x. And what I'll do is I'll just add a y on both sides. So if I add a y there, and I add a y here, I notice that x will equal 1 plus y. Or I'll write it as y plus 1. So I've now solved for one variable. All right, I've isolated one variable. Sure, I could have solved for y here. I don't think it would be a good idea to try to solve for x here or solve for y in this part. You have to deal with the square root, plus or minus, yeah. So this is nice and simple. Second step, we just substitute this. We need to substitute this into the other equation. For what letter? Well, this is an x, so I'm gonna have to substitute this into the other equation where x is located. So I'm going to put this right there. Now let's see what we get now. That became squared y plus 1 squared rather than just x squared. And then we have the remaining part. The plus y squared equals 25. Now all we have to do is solve this equation right here. I am going to distribute this. I'm going to foil it out. That's y plus 1 to y plus 1. And after I FOIL that, I get y squared plus 1y plus 1y plus 1, which is y squared plus 2y plus 1. Now you still have this plus y squared here. So I'll carry that, carry that. And all this is equal to 25. Okay. We are going to combine like terms. You have y squared plus y squared is 2y squared plus 2y plus 1 equals 25. So since it has a y squared, all right, that's quadratic, I'm going to try to factor this. If I can't factor it, I'll use the quadratic formula. I'll subtract 25, set this whole thing equal to 0. I get 2y squared plus 2y minus 24 equal to 0. Now, I notice all these are even, so I'm going to divide a 2 on both sides of the equation. Because 0 divided by 2 is 0. This will stay 0. This will become a 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Negative 24 divided by 2 is negative 12. So this becomes y squared plus 1y minus 12 equals 0. All I did was divide a 2 on both sides of the equation. And now I can factor that. Two numbers that multiply to negative 12. That add up to a 1, y plus 4, y minus 3. And I'll solve each one of these factors here. y plus 4 equals 0, y equals negative 4. And solve for y here, y minus 3 equals 0, y equals 3. Now, let's not leave our answer like this, because solve this system, right, these are ordered pairs, xy coordinates. So y equal to negative 4 is one of the solutions. I got room right here. And y equal to negative 3 is one of the solutions. Or excuse me, y equal to 3. <laughs> and that's y equals positive 3 right there. Now, we need to find the corresponding x values. Where are we going to plug it back in? There's a big mess on the board. Pick the easiest equation you got. That one right there is pretty nice. I'm trying to find x. And there's a nice, nice, simple equation right there. x equal to y plus 1. So I'm just going to substitute negative 4 right there for y. Negative 4 plus 1. Okay. And when that's negative 3. And I'll substitute this 3 right here for y. 3 plus 1 is 4. So there's my solution. All right. Negative 3 comma negative 4. 4 comma 3. And if you look at the picture, that's what we have here. This is the point uh, 4 comma 3. And this point right here is negative 3 comma negative 4. Okay? 
And we'll do one more. We'll do one more of these. Get this out of the way. So we're going to solve it by substitution. Two straight lines if you want. Alright? That's it. 